Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to convert a date format and then a time format as well. So I have a sample application here. I already added one sample. So normally, if you're not using the long date format in AppSheet and you're using United States local settings, the date is formatted like this. So this is the day, I mean the month, the, the day, and then the year. So I converted it into my desired format, which is the long date format that comes with the dash. So this is 24, that's the day, and then the month, and then the year. And then I have also here, it's a 12-hour format, the default in AppSheet. So what I did is I converted this into a 24-hour format. So I will give you one example. So I'm going to add here. And since this there is an app formula in inside my app in the date, as you can see here, there is an app formula and then time as well. So it's automatically converted the date and then the time. So you can also remove this app formula and then you can, uh, you can customize the time as you like, let's say. So I'm removing the app formula. Then once I refresh this, then when I want to add a new data here, so I can just manually put the date and it still uh, convert whatever date I put. Okay, so day here and then time, let's say, um, okay, let's say a.m. So it's convert into 24 hour format. So I will show you how to do this uh, conversion in AppSheet. All right, so let's go to my app editor. So in my app editor, I have, a, in my sample app, I have just two columns. The ID is just for the app sheet, date and time. So here in date and time, and then I created a virtual column for date and then a virtual column for a time. So you can also add a not a virtual column if you would like. Since this is only a conversion, I added only a virtual column. Then what you're going to do uh, in your app editor, once you, you once you are adding this conversion, you can only you can display only this date and time in the form view. I will show you. So here in the log form, so you can uh, display the input. Then in the in this view, you can uh, display only the let's say here you can just display the converted time. So once I save, refresh, so basically the idea here is we will only display the actual date here. Once I save it, it's display the converted date only. So we don't want to display the, the non-converted date, okay? So what I did here, guys, is if you go, if you look at my table, so I used in the date in the virtual column, I used this expression called text. Then this is the target uh, column wherein I wanted to convert the format. So whatever the value here in the in the date. App sheet will convert into this format. So let me explain to you what is D, M, and Y. So ob obviously D is for the day, then M is for the month, and then Y is for the year. So as you notice, I place a double D here. It's because I wanted my day, 
as a two digits and then as you can see here it's a two digit and then it has three letters here or uh, three uh, three uh, yes three letters so here that's why i place this three times m and then y is four times because i wanted to have the year as a four digit so what will ha what happened is what will happen is if i reduce this m and then instead of a letter here it will this october it will convert into a number so it converts into 10 so that's the purpose of that okay so you can rearrange your format let's say you wanted to put the month first then the year is in the middle or day day at the end so you can do that as per your preference okay so what i did on the time it's will it's also the same with the uh, the same expression i use so here the target table is time i mean the target column is time then hh means hour since i wanted a two digit m is for minutes if you want to add the seconds you can add as well here so you can just simply put ss then what will happen is once i refresh this It will added uh, seconds here. So if also if you want to convert this into a 12-hour format, you can just simply go here and insert this AM slash PM. Then once you save it, and I'm going to refresh this, it's added a pm am and pm here all right so let me see if it's a converted into am also let's say i'm gonna keep it let's say and am here 10 am it's added okay so that's how you're gonna convert the date and time using this text expression and by placing a column type as text so this is the date expression and then this is the time expression that i use so what if you want to combine the date and time so if you want to combine let's say here i'm going to convert this into a date and time and then i'm going to place to make it easy for me i will just place a formula here now So let's see. So if you want to convert it, it's easy. You can just insert this here, space, and HH. If you want to include it, uh, if you want a 24 hour format, you can just do this like that. Okay. So we'll see. And so once I save this, let's wait to become green. Okay. It's green. It's correct. Okay, and then I'm going to refresh my app. So I will add an, a new entry since this is, I changed the column type into date and time. See, it's converted. Once I save, here it's converted. So this uh, format plus the 24-hour format. All right, so don't worry. I will uh, include this expression sample in my in my youtube description if you learned something in this video please don't forget to subscribe or comments if you have any questions regarding this video and see you next time in my next video thank you